Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of using the law of total expectation. Let's suppose that x is a random variable jointly distributed with y, which is an exponential random variable, with parameter theta. If the expected value of x, given that y is equal to little y, is equal to y, then find the expected value of the random variable x. To do this problem, we recall the law of total expectation. So the law of total expectation is that the expected value of x is the expected value of the expected value of x given y. And these are x integrations over here, and these are y integrations over here. And so for our problem, what we'll do is this. For our problem, the expected value of x will be the expected value of the expected value of x given the random variable y. And what this becomes is this becomes the expected value of, well, we're given that the expected value of y given y is little y. So this tells us in random variable language that the expected value of x given the random variable y is exactly just the random variable y. And so this will become just the expected value of y. And so this will be the integral from 0 to infinity of y times 1 over theta e to the negative y over theta dy. And so we can see now that what we do is we'll let, this is just the expected value of a exponential random variable. So this is going to be just a integral from 0 to infinity of y over theta e to the negative y over theta d theta. And this is exactly equal to, if we let, let's make a substitution here. If we let u be y over theta, then du is dy over theta. And so what we have here is we have the integral from 0 to infinity of u e to the negative u. And then d theta is just going, d, uh, that's not d theta, that's a dy. So this should be a dy. It's a dy over here, dy. And then dy will be theta du, so that's a theta du. And now this integral is just equal to theta. So our expected value of x in this problem will just be equal to theta. Now, had we given a different expected value, for example, if we said that the expected value of x, which is another example, given that y was equal to little y was just some function f of y, then what we'd have here is we'd say that the expected value of x would be the integral from 0 to infinity of f y 1 over theta e to the negative y over theta dy. And this would be our expected value of x. And we can write this, in fact, in terms of the Laplace transform. This would just be 1 over theta, and then f hat of 1 over theta, where f hat is just the Laplace transform. So with exponential random variables, you can use tools from the Laplace transform theory to evaluate expected values in moments of these random variables that are exponential with parameter theta. Thank you very much.